Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video which is part of our land chain basic series and in this video guys we are going to talk about chains so without wasting any time further let's get started so first thing first guys what are chains so if you guys have been following my previous lang chain videos we discussed about the basics of lang chain and we also discussed about prompt templates which we can use to query the uh, large language models right but what are chains so basically guys lang chain actually provides us a chain interface to create complex chained applications now this might seem a little bit confusing to you so let me paint a picture so you can see here guys that i have opened a website called as kaggle.com so consider it something like this that a website do you think it is a individual component that is being rendered here the answer is no uh so an application something uh, like of a web application actually comprises of three basic components first component is your web server which is actually rendering this page this user interface second component is your back end server so whenever i am like executing any code so for example here it will actually go to the back end server and does some processing for us to give us the result and the third component is our database server which is actually holding all the data that we can actually see on the screen or which the back end server actually processes us uh, processes for us to show us on the ui right so there are three components here in a web application now why i am talking about a web application the question is that i am trying to give you an example that any complex application is not comprising of a single component is it it is always a chain of components which are bound together to actually make the application work and to actually uh, create the same scenario in our lang chain world in large language model world lang chain provide us this feature to have a chain interface that can, that can actually bind or combine the multiple components together to create a single very powerful application okay so for example here we can say that we can create a chain that can take a user input that can format a user input with a prompt template and then pass it through a formatted response to a large language model okay so you are uh, you know creating a chain of components to actually give you a better result now we can not only chain multiple components together you can actually create a chain of multiple other chains right so you can have a nested chain where you combine multiple chains and you create a you know bigger component or a complex application so now guys i think we are done with the theory part and it's time to actually get our hands dirty with applying some of the applications of chains in lang chain so let's get started the so first thing first guys let's start with a basic example now the first thing with any um, lang chain tutorial or example is actually the imports right and the first import is always going to be our lang chain model or large language model import that is open ai now we are always going to uh, combine certain things together and one of the thing is our large language model with our from template so we also need an import of a from template right so i'm just going to execute this code here now we have our imports in place it's time to actually initialize our model and our from template so here i am using a basic large language model so you can see this is a basic large language model and i am creating a basic from template which is basically uh, asking a question that what is a good name for a company that makes a certain product the product is the input variable which is passed to us by the variable name product okay now let's execute this code because now after the execution we have our large language model and we also have our prompt template so as i gave you the example before it's time to combine these two components together so now we have to actually create a llm chain a lang chain chain which can combine the model llm and my prompt together to give us a better answer so for that also first thing we will do is we will import the 
LLM chain. So LLM chain is the interface which is provided to us by Langchain. Now once we have imported it, it's time to actually create our first ever chain. Okay. Now let's name it chain becomes equals to LLM chain. Now you can see that as soon as I hit the bracket, it is actually giving me uh, intelligence suggestions to initialize my first chain object. And the two things that I have to pass inside this object is my LLM model. So LLM equals to LLM because we have already added, you know, initialized this LLM model here. And prompt is equals to prompt. And the prompt template also we have defined earlier. And that is it guys. Now my chain is created. So now that my chain is created, it's time to run this chain. So all I have to do is do chain dot run. And inside this run, I am going to pass the name of my product, right? So you can see in the prompt here above that the only input variable I was taking was product. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass the product name in my chain. So let's say my product is computer, computer software so this is a tech company which is selling some software now you can see that the answer i get is tech thinkers incorporation so this could be a potential name for a company that makes computer software right so here you can see that this is a very classic example of combining our model and our prompt template together to actually get a answer for our input variable uh, you know input variable providing the input variable and getting an answer for that query okay now uh, let's go and do a certain other example let's say we have a ROM template that is having multiple variables so something like that this template is having two input variables where we are saying what is the good name for a company that makes a product okay so we are also giving a certain description of the company in this company variable and we are also uh, giving the product name okay so what is a good name for a company that makes products so either you can give the uh, type of the company or you can give you know what is a good name for a factory that makes a product or what is a good name for a company that makes a product so basically this variable you have to fill now once our prompt template is configured I am going to create the same LLM chain again. So this is my chain again. And now it's time to run the chain. But in this time, you know that I have got multiple input variables. So because I have got multiple input variables, I am going to pass those variables as a dictionary. So the first thing is product. So let's say this time my product is laptops. Okay, and this time the type of my company is that it is a computer hardware company. So it is a computer hardware company that makes laptops. So what should be a, uh, you know, good name for that company? So computer hardware company that makes laptops so what could be a good name for that let's run this and you can see that it gives the name that global laptop solutions could be a potential name for this particular company okay so that was the basic tutorial of how to create chains uh, using Langchain lang chain chain the llm chain api i hope this video was informative for you guys and i hope you learned something from it the reason why i'm doing the chains tutorial so early in our basic series is because we are going to use chains a lot in our future videos and chains not only combine a llm model and a prompt template they actually can combine a lot of things together for example you can use api agents to query apis you can use agents to query your sqls and there are a lot of things that you can use as a component in your you know lang chain world and you can uh, you know just simply plug in those components in your LLM chain and work them out beautifully. 
okay so that's why we needed to do this chain tutorial and i hope uh, you guys liked it so if you did like this video guys then please do not forget to like this video share this video with your friends and please 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 do subscribe to my channel for more such uh, informative videos and um, also guys if you have any questions comments suggestions about this please do write down in the comment section below i would be really happy to read them uh, one more thing guys that in this tutorial i didn't mention the open ai key being created but that has been already covered in my previous videos so please do check out those previous videos if you have any confusions about the beginning of initializing an open ai key okay so thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video then take care and bye bye